Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elizabeth Molina and today we are talking about category number nine in our beauty circle and how to fill that out and what I mean by the category of sleep. As you know, I feel like everyone has heard of this saying before from your grandma, from your mom, from someone even making fun of you. Like if you didn't look so good, they, they always say get your beauty sleep or what happened, you missed out on your beauty sleep. So that's why this category is so important because I want to talk about sleep and how crucial it is for not just our survival, for our anti-aging, for our skin, for our mental health, for our body to repair. I mean, there's so many things. So when we are talking about sleep, we are um, grading ourselves, we are assessing ourselves in the beauty circle with these categories. How much sleep are you getting? Are you sleeping? Are you getting seven to nine hours of sleep? Super important. Um, you know, not just that, but like, how do you sleep? Like, how do you wake up when you sleep? I'm sorry. How do you wake up from sleeping? Like, are you waking up tired? Are you waking up energized after sleep? Are you getting like five hours of sleep? Like, how many hours are you sleeping? So are you sleeping less than seven hours a night? Number one, or are you sleeping, you know, seven to nine hours of sleep a night? Are you waking up rested? Are you waking up not rested? Are you going into delta, theta, alpha? Are you repairing when you're sleeping? These are things to be aware of. And as you know, when you're sleeping, you're repairing. And another thing is like every hour of sleep is repairing a different organ. So like you might hear people who are like super spiritual talk about, oh, what time did you wake up? Was it 3 a.m.? Oh, did you know that that's the time that your gallbladder is healing? Or two, you know, 2 a.m., did you know that's the time your liver is healing? So imagine that. If you're not getting the right amount of sleep, your body will not be able to repair properly. And why that is so important because when you sleep your body's repairing it's like recharging yourself you're not gonna think about an iphone and think about the battery life or not just an iphone any phone and think about just running it down till zero percent battery just shuts off unfortunately our bodies don't work that way what happens is it accumulates over time because we don't really especially in today's society when we're all like running this like rat race and we're all trying to do so much, we forget to listen to our bodies and, and we forget to rest because we always want to do more and accomplish more. And the downfall to that is actually when you do rest and when you do stop, you're able to accomplish so much more because you're so refreshed, you're so awake, you're so healthy, you're so hydrated, your body's absorbing the proper nutrients and also your body's getting rid of the proper toxins and the proper wastes when you're sleeping. So I really want to get down to the hours of sleep, the quality of sleep, the feelings of sleep. Like if you're sleeping too much also, that's also not great because then it kind of goes reverse. So these are all the little things I want us to think about when we are assessing ourselves, assessing these categories. And like I mentioned in my other videos, um, this is just the surface. This is the surface of the categories because this goes into deeper layers of sleep and what it means to have sleep, proper sleep, um, the different states that we go into. You know, do we go into REM sleep? What is REM sleep? What is delta? What is alpha waves? What is theta waves? Like, why is that so important for my body? And what does that mean for me? Does that mean that I'm reversing backward? Does it mean that I'm becoming smarter? Does it mean that I'm healthier? Does it mean that I'm burning more fat? Does it mean that I have more energy to just be fully myself the next day? There are so many questions in this category to explore, but I don't want to overwhelm you. Like I've said before, I just want you to just start thinking about these things and start thinking and asking the questions. Get curious with yourself and the kind of sleep that you have. Not just your own sleep, but people around you, your family members, people that you care about. So I'm going to ask you to fill out your beauty circle. If you don't have one already, you can always download it for free. There's a link below. Please share this with yourself, with your friends, with your family, with your kids, with your cousins, with your nieces, with your nephews. This is such a cool tool just to get the conversation going about health, about beauty, and what it really means to shine from the inside out. 
again, if you found this super helpful or just informative or you think somebody will get something out of this, please share this with them. Also, I will ask you to subscribe if you haven't, like and comment below. And until next time, guys, bye.